Salutation! Surgeon for Noah here with another 8-bit style of game for episode 9 of Catching Up with Kemco. This is Alvastia Chronicles. Alvas Alvastia? Alvastia? They don't talk, so I don't know how it's pronounced. Damn near ripped right out of Final Fantasy 1 for the story on this one, with four crystals and their balance being disrupted. Monsters appear and knacka the whole lot. They do the whole village, including your parents, as the experience actually leaves the main protag mute. Yeah, we're introducing that old RPG chestnut, what, nine games in? He literally spends the game writing on a notepad, and the text reflects as such. Ten years later, only you and your sister survive, and the monster that killed your parents still roaming the countryside. They mention he's a tetrarch. Tetra? Tetra Arsage? It's a combination of Tetra and Arch. Which is a title of a future Kimco RPG, four games away from this one. So, we'll see what that's about. Anyway, Little Sister is not a party member, and most people you run across act as sub-guard characters, just like Dragon Sinker. You have a party of three main characters, and each get three companions for each of them. Not customizable with bot equipment, but can be leveled up with, like, a currency that you'll come across a lot of, so you're spending a lot of points just building them up. It's like bonus levels, basically. But then you can only use different attacks and spells instead of one of your own when your main character turn comes up. So, three mains with three reserved character each. Your party members in battle look more like this. <laughs> and your sister's there in the back that does the big burst attack that you have to spend fighting to charge a meter for, which I've never used, so... Might use it maybe like once for like a super tough battle. That's it. So my party just effectively doubled from As Divine Hearts 2 as far as rear guard goes. This game boasts over a hundred of them. They range from the usual RPG classes of fighters, mages, elves, ogres, beastkin, talking cats, crates, barrels, a pile of rocks. Yeah, I've even gotten a party member that's a floating club. <laughs> How does he talk? I think he made a comment something along the lines of whooshing back and forth in a way that replicates speech when it swooshes in your ear. Ooh, how close does it have to get to your ear to swoosh? Ooh. Two kinds of chests in the game discover the significant difference via the guide I was using that the brown chests are random in what they give and the more shiny or ornate red and gold are your rare gifts, usually powerful weapons armors for your main three. As you fight, you'll come a upon uh, chest drops from your enemies. I assume the rarer they are, the longer they take to open up. Yeah, you can store like four chests. Some of the quicker ones you can open right away, longer ones not so much. And you can either wait it out or... I don't know how long the wait is for on, uh, as far as rarity goes. I was making good alchemy stones to just buy up old keys, which you can buy six for like 50 alchemy stones and they give like 10 alchemy i think like three a fight again so once again keep that battle shortcut off or you're gonna miss out on them stones man did they ease up a lot of trophies on this one <laughs> usually you get trophies for taking a weapon to the plus 999 in attack stat something you'll get end game by buying a million gold or so worth of one weapon just to fuse all into your main weapon until the task is complete this game you can do that too but you'll only need plus 50. With Guide in Hand, I got a weapon that was already past that number, and after fusing other weapons to it to level it up another one, the game just can't... That's, hey, you upgraded it. It's past level 50+. plus. Take all your leveling trophies, all three in one go. And with grinding, you'll one-shot 90% of what you come across. They managed to keep pace with characters and story this time, but said story's nothing original. Like I said, the whole Final Fantasy thing. Hell, there's even four fiends that represent each element you'll run across in battle over the course of the adventure. <laughs> they took cues from the slapstickier moments with the sprites from As Divine Hearts 1 and 2 and brought it here for 8-bit sprites. Stuff that you normally wouldn't see, those kind of sprites do, so it was like, be constantly reminded of how far we've come with games overall, but especially just these as I was doing episode to episode. 
I personally would have liked more done with the whole main guy scribbling on a notepad thing. More gags, I guess, built around that. But he runs out and has to write a huge message on his sister's hand once. And that was like, oh, that's kind of funny. But it's never like, oh, wow, how does he write all that? It's so legibly. Someone looks up the orders and it's like, I can't read this. It's all chicken scratch. I guess it would have been a tad disrespectful if the main character, if they went too weird with it. For the obvious reason, he is mute. I'm wish I am still wishing more was done with it to keep the flavor from going stale, which it does. The game actually auto says for me, which I'm okay with because there's no pick the correct choice of dialogue to beef up someone's affinity so they can do stuff. One big gripe with me is even though I've gotten thief characters, I've never unlocked anything that was considered s stealing for items on certain enemies. So some of the side quests. Now come down to luck. It made the game at least a day longer to 100% on that alone. So I can say this is a B minus. I almost brought it to a C, but I, I looked back and was like, I definitely enjoyed this as much as Dragon Sinker in a way. Same vibe and everything. But yeah, so many games of a row where I can just steal things. Why regress in that regard? And make make it come down to RNG. Uh, despite that, the game as a whole was enjoyable enough, but anyways, we've made it to the double digits in episodes. Hit points back once again with my next review, Bonds of the Skies. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching.